Red deer are the largest land mammal in Britain. They're mostly found in the Scottish Highlands, but can be seen throughout the UK, including in London's Richmond Park. As a stag ages, his antlers become more branched. A stag with 16 or more points on his antlers is called a monarch, but prehistoric remains have revealed antlers with as many as 22 points. Unlike rhino horns, red deer antlers are made from bone. They are shed and regrown every year. With no natural predators such as wolves to keep red deer in check anymore, their vast numbers have caused significant overgrazing. However, smaller populations of red deer actually benefit the ecosystem. Less intense grazing helps improve plant variety. Shed antlers provide calcium-rich food for small mammals, and deer droppings help some species of fungi to grow. Red deer breed from September to November. This is called the rut and is one of the most dramatic nature spectacles in Britain. Mature stags claim a harem of females, which are called hinds, and try to keep rival males away. They make a roaring sound, which sounds fantastic as it echoes through the mountains. Just after dawn and before dusk can be active times for red deer, although stags can be heard roaring day and night during the rut. It helps to use vegetation as cover and approach them downwind to avoid being detected. Larger stags can keep young males away just by chasing them off, but sometimes physical clashes occur if two stags are evenly matched. This is rare, as fighting is dangerous and could result in injury. You should keep your distance with any wildlife watching, but when it comes to hormonal stags weighing 200 kilos or more, staying out of the way is even more important. The British Deer Society says to stay 100 metres away from rutting deer. I kept well back from the chasing stags and only saw deer up close when they were near the road and I could film them from my car. If you plan ahead and act responsibly, you can safely enjoy the drama of the red deer rut. <laughs>